In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the arithmetic average return. So this could be the return for a stock that you're looking at or the S&P 500. We can calculate this return. It's actually really simple. So let's just say that we have three periods. We have three years here, years one, two, and three. And then we have a different return each year. So in year one, we had a return of 25%, let's say, on our stock. And then in year two, we had a loss of 40%. And in year three, it's going to be 30% gain. So in order to calculate the arithmetic average return, what we're going to do is we're just going to sum these three returns together. And then we're going to divide it by the number of years, which in this case is three years total. Right? So all we're going to do is we're going to say 25 minus 40. Or you can think of that as plus negative 40, however. And then add the 30. Right? So all we're doing is summing the 25, the negative 40, and the 30%. Right? So we add all those, and that's going to be in our numerator. But then in our denominator, we're going to have the number of periods, the number of years. So we have three years total. Right? So we want to get the average return per year. And so when we calculate that out, it's actually going to come to 5. Right? And so what that means is that our return, our arithmetic average return, is 5% a 